morning students and welcome to another online physical science class of St. Michael's Academy. Today I am going to discuss some sums and theory from chemical calculation. So let's start. First I am starting with burning of magnesium ribbon. When magnesium reacts with oxygen in air, magnesium oxide or MgO will form. Reaction is 2Mg plus O2, formation of 2MgO or magnesium oxide. So when magnesium reacts with oxygen in air, magnesium oxide will form. It is easy to see that the magnesium has gained oxygen and an oxidation reaction has occurred. You see this is magnesium. Magnesium will gain oxygen from this oxygen molecule and it will form, it will be oxidized rather to magnesium oxide. The magnesium has been oxidized to magnesium oxide. So it proves that oxidation is gain of oxygen. Now see this experiment. When a magnesium ribbon and candle is there, magnesium ribbon burns and form magnesium oxide, white color powder and this light, white color light. This is actually magnesium oxide. So let's do the sum with this equation. Now, question number four. In a closed vessel, one gram of magnesium is burned with 0 0.5 gram of oxygen. Which reactant retains, remains in excess? Magnesium or oxygen? Which one will be the excess? So, first write down the equation. 2 magnesium, 2 mg plus 2 is equal to 2 mgo that is magnesium oxide. 2 into 24 magnesium means 48 gram and that's oxygen 32 gram that means 16 into 2 32 gram. Now for burning 48 gram of magnesium require 32 gram of oxygen. So therefore for burning 1 gram according to your question 1 gram of magnesium require 32 by 48 gram of oxygen. That is coming 0 0.67 gram of oxygen. Now as 0 0.67 gram oxygen will be required to burn 1 gram magnesium. But there are 5 gram of oxygen. So magnesium will not burn completely. Because you just understand 0 0.6 gram, 67 gram required. But there are there is only 0 0.5 gram of oxygen. Okay. So magnesium will not burn completely so magnesium will remain in excess that's all what is mole the mole is the amount of a substance of a system which contains as many elementary entities as there are atoms in 0 0.012 kilograms or 12 amu that means atomic mass unit of carbon. We symbolize this with mole m o l. When the mole is used the elementary entities must be specified like this 6 into 6 means here approximate they have taken that is actually the Avogadro number 6.023. So, 6 into 10 to the power 23 atoms, 6 into 10 to the power 23 molecules, 6 into 10 to the power 23 ions, same electrons, same number of particles or same number of specified groups of particles. Now, there is a small example that I have given. How many moles are in a 64 gram sample of pure sulfur? So answer is 2 moles. Because you know sulfur is equal to 32. One sulfur atom is equal to 32. 
So 64 means 64 by 2, 32 is coming. So it's actually 32 gram per mole. And they have written here actually it is 32.1 molar mass. This is called molar mass from periodic table. Okay, from periodic table you can see. But actually this portion is not the answer. The answer of this question is 2 mole. And you can find this by calculating like this 64 by 32. Now, what are molecular mass and molar mass? Molecular mass of a molecule or a compound is the sum of the atomic weights of the atoms in its molecular formula. While molar mass is the mass in grams of one mole of substance. I am giving you one example. Suppose carbon dioxide is a molecule. So, molecular mass of carbon dioxide equal to atomic weight of carbon plus atomic weight of oxygen. That means atomic weight or molecular weight of carbon plus molecular weight of oxygen also you can say because two atoms are there. And molecule, uh, molar mass when you will calculate, this is equal to as uh, for carbon dioxide only I am saying one mole mass in grams of one mole of carbon dioxide or one molecule of carbon dioxide. Now see, molar mass versus molecular mass. That means difference. Molar mass defined as the mass of a mole of a substance. Molecular mass refers to the mass of the molecules. Molar mass measured in grams per mole. Remember this, grams per mole. And molecular mass measured in, measured in atomic mass unit. Molar mass determined by dividing the mass of compound into by the moles of compound. And molecular mass is determined by taking average masses of each atom while deriving the atomic masses from the periodic table. Now the next sum is number 6. Number 6 sums calculate the mass of first one 0 0.1 mole uh, of CO2. So here you have to calculate the mass. And there you, in the previous sum you would have calculated the number of moles. Please read the sum properly and then start doing the sum. So here you have to calculate that. Mole. 
in your physical science exercise book for subject related doubts or queries please email me at shudeshna1.sma at the rate of outlook.com we also welcome your responses by way of your views and feedback on the ppts or videos at feedback.sinmichaelsacademy at the rate of gmail.com thank you students and have a nice day